that first sip, that first sip of coffee in the morning, just really, it does something. It hits different, as Taylor Swift would say. So, greetings internet, welcome back to another vlog on my channel. This one is an exciting one because I'm finally ready, well, kind of ready, partially ready to talk about what I'm working on today, which is my brand new project, my new podcast. You guys know, I've touched on this like a little bit here and there, but I'm, I'm really terrible at keeping secrets. Like there's just simply no way I can keep a secret. I'm incapable of keeping a secret, so. I've kind of given some hints along the way, but I'm revamping, rebooting my old podcast, Thick and Thin. And today, so a week before you're watching this video, because I always record my stuff a week in advance, I, today, in the past, <laughs> am filming and recording. So I'm recording the audio for the first two or three episodes. I have the first three episodes done, ready, researched, so I'm going to record as many as I can today, which I'm hoping will be at least two. And I'm going to record some clips. I keep glancing in this general direction because I'm going to set up camp right here. I'm gonna record in this little nook over here. I'm gonna set up my microphone and equipment. Through doing all of these different podcasts that I've done, I've gotten pretty skilled with audio, which is a blessing. Like I feel very prepared, but it's also a curse because I'm a perfectionist. So it's probably gonna take me at least 30 minutes just to, actually probably more than that, <laughs> more time than 30, more like 45. Yeah, just about to set up, sound check, and I'm still probably going to stop midway and be like, wait, this doesn't sound right or something like I'm crazy. I, I take pride in being a perfectionist sometimes. Like I feel like it does make it so I, I produce good work or great work in some situations, but it also like keeps me up at night. Like I, I actually went to bed last night at nine o'clock. I think I was like in bed, lights out, 9 p.m., which is very early for me. I don't typically do that but I was so tired yesterday. I had done so much work in such a short period of time where like I felt like I just was like, boom, 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 one thing after the other, editing, sending all this stuff, especially after being away this past weekend at the cabin, I felt a bit behind. So I did so much work yesterday and I literally put myself to sleep. Like, <laughs> right, I knocked myself out. I am such a night owl. Usually I don't go to bed until at least midnight. So this was new for me. I was like, am I getting sick? What's going on? But I woke up this morning and I felt amazing. I think I got 11 hours of sleep. <laughs> so feeling great. Um, it is overcast and disgusting today, which, you know, always puts me in a weird mood, but we're fighting it today. We're going to work on this new project, which brings me so much joy. I love having a new project. Really makes you feel fresh and new again, even after doing this work for you know 15 years. I've been doing content creation on the internet and so it's nice to have something new and fresh that I'm excited about. It's like my baby, my child, is being born today and I'm pumped. <laughs> so Wednesday, March 6th, yep, Wednesday, March 6th is the launch date. So on Wednesday, every Wednesday, I'll be posting episodes. That'll be like my new upload date for the podcast, which works perfectly because I post my vlogs, as you know, on Monday then this new podcast will come out on Wednesdays and then Match Made podcast, the one I have with my two friends where we talk about dating and all that stuff, comes out on Fridays. So I have a perfect little spacing of content coming out, which just, it feels right. It feels right to have those days like Tuesday and Thursday in between to prepare and stuff. So that'll be my day, Wednesdays, for this new podcast. On the 6th, a few things will be revealed. Number one, the podcast artwork, which I've been working very hard on with my friend. I actually, I guess I could tell you this. I, I'm just like slowly telling you everything. It's fine. My artist friend, I have an oil painter, or she does every medium, honestly, but she's an excellent painter. She painted my past artwork for Thick and Thin, if you guys remember. I had this like beautiful red and pink um, artwork where it was like a girl in like a you know, Victorian gown holding a martini, like a modern martini. Um, so that was the past artwork and I had her do that. That was my vision, but she painted it. Anyway, we're working together again on this artwork. We already did it, actually, it's done. It's finished, but you haven't seen it yet. 
I'm obsessed with it. And so the first episode that I'll be putting out on Wednesday will explain the artwork because it's kind of intricate and interesting. So that will be explained. The podcast name, the history of where I've come from with the podcast, like all that stuff will be explained in the first episode. But that's more like an intro episode that I'm gonna pin to the top of Spotify or wherever it's gonna be posted, everywhere. And then the first actual episode will also come out that day, um, of course. So that will be my inaugural episode of the podcast. And I'm not gonna tell you what it's about, but it's a story um, that you might've never heard of before, probably not. So that will be the first episode and I'm pumped. It's going to be a storytelling history podcast. So if you guys listen to Thick and Thin, I try to make history not boring and pluck stories that I'm like, wait, that's actually really interesting. And it doesn't take a history buff or anyone that even knows a thing about history to appreciate this story. You know, like we love TV, we love movies and things that are more modern. You know, not all of us like historical fiction and historical shows and movies, but if you appreciate any sort of storyline, any sort of plot, you will appreciate this podcast because that's all history is. History is just like a juicy story. Sometimes it's boring, but most of the time, <laughs> or the ones I'm picking at least, are juicy stories or just like something interesting that I feel like has been sitting on the shelf for so long and no one knows anything about. So that's what I'm doing. And I hope people like it, you know. I know I'm gonna enjoy doing it and I feel prepared this time because as you guys know, I had the old podcast, Thick and Thin, and I just got burnt out with it because I clearly, very clearly needed to ask for help and get someone to help me with the podcast, but I have trust issues and I hate asking for help. I hate seeming vulnerable or not vulnerable. I guess vulnerable works there, but like I hate seeming like I'm not good enough and I need someone to help me. Um, big fear of mine. So for a long time, I was like, no, I'm just gonna suffer and like do all of this work to research and record and produce it and promote it and all this stuff on my own. And it just wasn't sustainable. Like I was like having total meltdowns over it. So I hired someone for this time around, paused thick and thin, got my ducks in a row. The ducks are now in a row. I hired a researcher. I'm going to tell the stories. I'm going to weave them into a tale. She'll help me in that way as well, but mostly she'll just be doing the research, which is a huge piece. I don't even wanna say just doing, like no, she's doing a huge part of the work, which is so helpful. But now I can just be creative. I'll choose all the stories, but she will so kindly fact check, research, make sure I'm not spinning a total lie. So I'm grateful for her. Her name is Sarah. And yeah, I'm going to do the first couple today. Like I said, I think I said this, I have the first three, almost four stories written and ready to, to tell. So it's just a matter of what I can get through today, trying to not burn myself out and give myself grace and also ample time to edit it to perfection as well because I love mixing and editing and adding the music and all that stuff. So I'm excited for that part too. Um, but yeah, my vocal cords are ready. My, my voice is warmed up. I need to set up and then just get cracking on it. So anyway, I'm sorry if this intro was super long. I just wanted to explain what's going on with the podcast because I do know a lot of people miss thick and thin which was shocking to me actually. I, you know, I will always have crushing imposter syndrome. Like I live with imposter syndrome. I will never not have imposter syndrome. So the fact that people were very upset that Thick and Thin, my old podcast was paused, or no, in hindsight, it's canceled. <clears throat> that one, like it's gonna have a new name, my reboot. But when people were upset that I paused that podcast, I was shook. Like I did not realize people liked it as much as they did. Like I got a lot of like angry people in my DMs, which, I love that people were angry because that means like I will be, you know, bringing back what they love and they'll be happy again. <laughs> so anyway, okay, let's get to work. I'm, I'm dilly dallying. Um, my coffee's getting cold. Okay, let's get cracking. Wait, while I have you, I have a question. Should I put something right here? Like, does this wall need something? Should I put like two pictures stacked. 
something that goes with this picture, because this picture is obviously the hero picture, but maybe I put like two like oil painting looking things here, or I don't know, black and white pictures, something. I feel like this wall needs something, but that could also just be me needing to put something everywhere, like I need to fill space. But I think now that my couch is like super white, like I have a very white couch, I feel like I need like something else on the wall because I can't paint in here because it's a rental and I don't know if wallpaper makes sense on this wall. I think it'd be too much. So let me know what you think down below. I love your opinions. Let me know what you think. Okay, so now I'm gonna set up. <laughs> I have a feeling people will ask me about my equipment. So I'll tell you, <laughs> this here is a Zoom recorder. And this we use for Match Made. I've used for other podcasts, but pretty much it records the audio, of course. But it's useful if you have guests, you can plug in extra microphones here and record multiple audios, but it splits the audio. So you can put them on different tracks when you're editing, if that makes sense. So. If you want to mute someone, you can mute someone, or it just makes editing easier and it records all on here and it can record multiple hours of audio and you can adjust the volume and such and it's just a helpful piece of equipment. If you, I think it's most helpful if you're recording multiple audios. I'm using it for this podcast just because I feel like it's just... I'm so used to it that I'm gonna use it for my solo podcast as well. But yeah, so I've plugged in the one microphone, I've muted all the other ports, and it just records really crisp audio for the one microphone when it's plugged in like this. And speaking of the microphone, so this mic stand we got from Amazon for super cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks, maybe less. It's definitely cheap, but it does the job. It holds the microphone, that's all we can ask for. And the mic itself is a Samson microphone. I got this mic from Best Buy like five years ago. And I feel like it just sounds really great. It's good sound quality. And I think it's like 50 bucks, 60 bucks maybe. At least it was when I bought it. And it's just a really good microphone. So highly recommend if you're starting a podcast. I'll link everything down below that I'm using. But this is pretty much it, yeah. Like I have the recorder. I'm going to read the stories off my iPad, which is all charged. I'm just going to transfer the Word doc over to the iPad and blow up the font so it's super big and I can read it. And then yeah, all the equipment is set up and ready to go. I'm gonna do some sound checks and I'm just gonna sit in my little corner and record. And that's the start of this project. I am buzzing. I woke up this morning and it felt like Christmas. I just love having something new to work on and something that's entirely mine just feels really nice. I mean, I might work with a network down the road. They're very helpful for, you know, when you want to monetize things and whatnot, but it feels really nice to be starting something and just like have no strings, no strings attached. Okay, so it's a new day. Yeah, it was pretty much just a busy work day yesterday. And now I'm actually going through the footage or What's it called? Is it footage when it's audio going through the tracks? I don't know, like what I recorded and listening back to it and making any necessary edits and things. And I think I'm actually pretty much done the first two episodes that are both going live on Wednesday. Um, and I'm very excited. Like I, I'm buzzing. It's this weird like feeling you get in your stomach or kind of like more so in your chest when you're like excited about something that you're working on. And I'm feeling that right now. It's very satisfying anyway i'm listening back i want to play for you guys this is like such a teaser i feel like like you're the first person i've played this for like i haven't played this for anyone else and this is the intro so i'm not going to play like the actual episode because that'd be like way too much um but i think i can play this for you without you guys knowing the title i might have to believe something but i want you to hear the intro music because it took me a long time like a full day to pick the intro song 
if you listen to a podcast and you like hear their intro song, like a lot of times it becomes this thing that like you start to memorize and like know. And so I wanted to make sure it was like the right thing that sounded right. And I'm so particular. So listen to this and tell me what you think. Hopefully you like it. If you don't, keep it to yourself. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Hopefully you like it. So this is it. Things aren't always as they appear, and some bombshells might be hiding in plain sight. I'm Katie Bellotti, and this is... Okay, I don't want to tell you the actual title of the podcast. I'm going to skip through that part. Blah, blah, blah. Storytelling History Podcast. Welcome in everyone to my very first episode, the introduction episode for my podcast. <laughs> I almost just <laughs> let it go again. So I just obviously bleeped out or paused so you wouldn't hear the title of the podcast, but I thought the music was very like, you know, kind of, what's the word? Not like foreboding. It's very like mysterious, but not spooky or not like creepy. It's just the perfect amount of like, the perfect amount of intrigue. Sorry, I'm getting a call letting in the Amazon delivery guy. So I got my groceries delivered today, which I, I rarely do that. I do enjoy like going to the grocery. I mean, okay, I don't enjoy like the grocery store experience that much, but I do like to go pick my produce and like do that sort of thing, like hands-on approach to <laughs> grocery shopping. Like, you know, making sure that the apples are like how I want them to be and like stupid stuff like that. But I am on a time crunch with like editing this stuff. I have to actually today, is the last day of February and I'm only like halfway done with the Patreon wallpapers that I post every month on the first of the month, which is literally tomorrow. So I need to do that. So I was like, you know what? Let me just order my groceries because I'm going to make a soup tomorrow. I've been wanting a chicken noodle and I'm actually filming something in the morning with Danielle. She's doing this new series where she pretty much like uncovers people's morning routines and posts about them. So. Obviously crock pot, big part of my morning routine, prepping the stuff for my dinner in the morning. So I thought I'd use that as like one of my things that I do, which I actually do, but it did encourage me to, I think they're here. It did encourage me to make something interesting. So um, yeah, making a soup, making a chicken noodle soup. And I mean, I don't know how interesting that is, but it's like prettier than some of the other stuff I make, like the prep process. So I'm gonna do that in the morning and I get to eat chicken noodle soup for dinner and probably lunch and dinner again on the weekend, which is so great. I might make another banana bread this weekend, who knows? World is full of possibilities. And what else? Oh, tonight I have book club. I'll definitely bring you guys to book club. I'm like, what else do I need to tell you? I feel like that's kind of the 411. I definitely need to clean up in here. I'm gonna do some work on my kitchen because it's like not very clean right now. So I'm gonna do that. And I actually got some new stuff from Target to decorate the kitchen a little bit. So hopefully, I'm gonna set a timer. I'm gonna dive into the Patreon wallpapers now because I'm gonna take a break on this. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna put in some work on the kitchen and then put on some comfy clothes and then go to book club. So come along on that journey with me. I guess you have no choice. I guess you can click out of the video, but why would you do that? We're having so much fun. <laughs> of course, I got my favorite cottage cheese, good culture. Sometimes cottage cheese can have a really terrible texture, like, or just like really like too liquidy, if that makes sense. I don't wanna like gross anyone out, but I feel like this is like the perfect texture where it's just like addicting and it's a good source of protein. So I got that. And then the rest of the things are all just ingredients. Massive bag of baby carrots <laughs> and like other spices and things. These are the noodles I'm gonna use. Okay guys, so I'm about to head to book club. My kitchen is looking so cute right now. I'm gonna show you guys in the daylight the changes I've made because I've hung some things up in here, which is really cute. So I'll show you guys that tomorrow. But. In a minute here, I'm going to head over to my friend Shay's for book club. My hair is definitely very greasy, but I've just had no time today to wash it. So, you know, it is what it is. Luckily, book club, like, no one really cares. You know, it's come as you are sort of thing. And I think it's like 25 of us now. Our group has grown quite a bit. 
we already have our next book for next month, which I'm actually forgetting right this second, but we've already talked about that. So tonight we're just going to talk about the book we just read, Under a Scarlet Sky. And, you know, do the thing, because, of course, it's like book club for like 30 minutes, and then the rest of it is just us like gabbing on about random stuff. So chat, drink wine, eat hors d'oeuvres, and yeah, book club's incredible. I think everyone needs to be a part of or start their own book club. I know it's hard to find them. That's the thing. Like, I, I feel like the real strategy is to start your own. If you can't find one, start one. And again, it doesn't need to be like super structured and like the day of the week and like what time of month like changes month after month, depending on who's available when. And like, we always do a like survey of sorts to figure out the next book. Anyway, I'm wearing an all black outfit, black long sleeve, black leggings, Uggs. And I need to bring, everyone brings a bottle. So I'm bringing a bottle of wine. Bringing a bottle of Josh with me, Vino. I just have this on hand actually. This is leftover from our cabin weekend, Jack and I. So thank you, Jack, for supplying tonight's book club, or at least me. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be like a ton of wine if you can imagine, because everyone brings a bottle. So it gets to be quite a lot, big recycling day. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna head over. I told her I'd be there at 6.30, like a little bit early, so I'm gonna leave now. So yeah, I'll snag some clips of book club. It's gonna be fun. The girls are going to be girling, and I need to figure out what to put this in. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Shay, I'm, I'm taking videos for my vlog. Mm -hmm. It looks Wait, we're so... gonna be on the vlog? Girls, yeah. please. Wait, let, let, me, let me hide my red solo cup. I need a real glass. <laughs> Mary, are you drinking? Mary's yeah. captain of book club. Yes. Mary's Hi. in charge. The book was excellent yeah. this month, I thought. It was. I'm gonna stick you guys in my microwave. Always getting creative with my tripods. You're in my microwave at the moment. It's nearly 10 a.m. I've done a bit of work this morning, but any minute now, Danielle and her camera girl, I believe her name is Katie, is coming over and we're shooting an AM Uncovered episode for Danielle's new series. So she's doing a series on people's morning routines and I'm making a soup as part of mine. She said, be there in 10 minutes. Great, amazing. Means I can talk to you guys for longer. So what I've done right now is I've gotten all my ingredients ready for the soup. So it's super easy when she gets here, we can just start filming. And I think the other elements of my morning routine, I don't want to say it all because I don't want to like spoil the video, obviously, because it's coming out probably in a few weeks, but just like the usual morning routine things that you see me do on my vlogs. So I have like little vignettes set up. I'm so happy for her and her new series. It's fun having a new series or a new thing, you know, it's with my podcast and just seeing all my friends start these like new, new things, like breathing fresh life into their pre-existing channels. It's like, it's cool. So I love supporting, I love supporting women in the arts. <laughs> so yeah, um, I wanna show you guys the updates I've made to my kitchen. Of course it looks like there's a lot going on, but it is a small kitchen. It's a pretty small kitchen, but I have everything that I need to create delicious meals. And I mean, I know it doesn't look super organized, but I've tried to organize my cooking supplies or like cooking utensils in these two little vases. This one, you guys might recognize, this stoneware vase here. I got that from a thrift shop in Maryland with Jack when we went home for either Christmas or Thanksgiving. I forget which holiday, but we got that in Maryland. And then this picture here that I've command stripped to the wall because it's not a traditional wall. Like this is technically granite or marble, I think, back there. So I command stripped this, it's from Target coffee machine. I mean, I hate that my coffee machine has to be back in that corner, but there's really no nowhere else to put it. And my crock pot is like in this spot. So it kind of needs to be there. I don't love it, but it, it works. So she's back there, my Keurig. Um, and I've had that like little plant there for so long. And that came with me to LA and back. So I've had that for a minute. Then this little picture here, I also got her from Target. Up close, you can see it's like a couple of coffee cups, a vase, and some apples. It's a cute little still life. My lamp, I've had this for a little bit. It's also from Target. Cookbooks, Crock-Pot, Cuisinart, Slow Cooker. Next on my list, I wanna get a rug for this little tile. 
like square. I also need to clean the front of that oven and my dishwasher. It's good that I just noticed this because I'm gonna do it before the video, <laughs> but that being said, like I wanna get a rug, but I also wanna get a floating island maybe. I can't decide if it would be like too much going on with that, so we'll see, but I also want to get a real bar area. Like this is a bar cart, obviously, but I wanna get, I wanna get a legit piece of furniture that I can put all of my spirits in that'll go in this spot, but I haven't found anything that I love that isn't like super expensive, so I'm still working on that. The sun's coming in, it's the perfect day for filming in the living room. I think we're gonna start out sitting on the couch and then see where it takes us, see where the video takes us. My couch needs a little bit of a fluff up, so I'm gonna do that also right before she comes. Um, but yeah, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. The light is doing things, the apartment looks good right now, so I'm excited to film this. Do you have a side you want? Um, what side were we on before when we were oh, sitting? Oh, opposite. So probably here, right? Yep. Probably. Continuity. So I love yeah, the it's continuity. Good. Oh my gosh. Yay. We, do you we, want to be in this corner? I love this corner yeah, so no, much. Like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me. My my home is your home. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Cute. Yay. Oh, your camera's so good. Oh, it's so good. It, oh my god, Wait, that looks, looks so cute. Good. Yeah, really okay, good. we have we have the host here. I want Danielle to tell the class and Katie, her oh, this is lovely Katie, my amazing videographer. videographer. And everything. Yeah, I want you guys to talk about like what AM Uncovered is. So AM Uncovered is a short form series on Instagram and TikTok where we're basically uncovering people's morning routines. Because I love morning routines. I love seeing people's apartments. I'm so nosy. And I love seeing people's outfits, what their coffee situation is, just everything. So it allows me to kind of do all those things in one. And we just finished filming Katie's. And it, it's just so cool to see everyone's different little things they do in the morning. I agree. Yeah, I was asking Katie. Yeah. She's been doing freelance for a couple of years now. So you, how did you guys get like connected? I didn't even ask that. We, she worked with some of our other friends. I saw we saw Hallie and Jazz did, yeah. did their podcast promo video. Oh, I was wondering. Yeah. Did you? It was at like Applebee's. At Olive Garden. Olive, Olive Garden. Garden. Yeah, that was her. And I asked Hallie that night. So happened to see her. I was like, who did that? She's like, Katie Lovely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so then I reached out. We used her for Girls in the Go live show for the yes. promo video. Which was so fun. Oh my god, and we yeah. were upset the New York live show that you're at. I mean, we I loved it. That, I saw that so. too. Brooke used Katie for her apartment tour. Like now she's a girl. So oh. if you need a girl. <laughs> Katie. Check her out. <laughs> wow. No, we did. We had a really fun time. Yeah, we, yeah I watched Katie filming all pot. the angles. The yes. crock pot is cooking as we speak. Okay, cool. Well, you'll see the video in like what, like a few weeks? Yes. Yeah. In like three weeks, probably. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We have to look at the sketch. Earlier in this vlog, I was talking about like my new podcast yeah. and stuff, and I'm like, it just you kind of need something new every once in a while because you mm -hmm. get in like this rut of like. You, you know, the flow of doing the same thing. It's yeah, fun, and no, people love fun. it, and people are gonna love your new yeah. podcast. Can I say that? Yeah. Oh well, no, they they already they already, <laughs> they already know. know. They don't the know cover. what it's called. They don't know what it's called. Oh, okay. Well, the cover is iconic. Yeah. yeah no, they're gonna see it because this comes out on Monday, so it's, yeah. I'm like launching it on Wednesday. Oh yeah. Gosh. But anyway, <laughs> okay. Thanks, girls. Hello. Hello. Happy Friday. going well. Also, happy first day of Women's History Month. I'm sipping my electrolyte water. Oh, so good. Hydrating before tonight. I used my dry bar wand to get these waves. And I feel like my hair is at a pretty good length right now. At first, I was like, should I cut it shorter? But I actually, I don't know what I'll do at my next hair appointment, but yeah, so I did like a little winged liner. I still need to do my lips. Haven't decided if I'm going to do red lipstick or just stick to like a pink. I probably will stick to a pink. If I feel like there's a heavy night of drinking coming on, I'll try not to do the red just because then I get like stressed about it getting all over the place. Um, even though it like typically doesn't, like I wear good red lipsticks that stay in place, but I still get stressed about these things. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wear pink. I'm excited, apparently this bar has sawdust on the ground. Interesting. Um, let me show you guys the soup, actually. My soup is done. I wanna show you guys the finished, finished chicken noodle soup reveal. All the noodles like to climb up to the top. <laughs> Maybe I should have put a little less noodle. Um, 
but oh my god it just smells so good the broth is amazing i put a little bit of lemon i squeezed some lemon into it so it's a bit of like a lemon chicken soup chicken noodle soup which is so good um so i'm gonna eat this a little bit before i go out tonight but i'm gonna have a big bowl tomorrow for lunch good like hungover potentially if i'm hungover who knows it might not be but I just love a chicken noodle soup, guys. My God, it's just always good, no matter what time of year, but especially when it's cold. So I'm gonna put this into the fridge. So after I'm done eating a little bowl tonight, I'm gonna put it in the fridge and enjoy most of it tomorrow. Jack is going to love this. Awesome, okay. So I think that might be the vlog as we know it. And I know like the entire vlog I was in my apartment, which I know a lot of you guys don't love when I do that. Um, it's just been a big apartment week for me. Like I've just been home working and like just here a lot. So, you know, it is what it is. It's winter, but um, thanks for watching. And I will talk to you guys all next vlog, next Monday. And that's it, that's a wrap. Goodbye. <laughs>